a build I like to call the two-way hero because this build is truly a superhero. This build is not only the most fun build in the game, but the best build in the game for all game modes. A 94 driving dunk with a 89 pass accuracy with all the drill moves unlocked at its height that can shoot from anywhere on the court, play elite defense, and also unlock the biggest body types in the game due to its high strength. And yes, you can trust me, that's for sure. So make sure to like and subscribe for me putting y'all onto this build, and let's get into the video. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another video. Y'all make sure to drop a like at this video if you want my jump shots uh, that I've been using recently, but look at this build, man. Y'all are seeing gameplay of the two-way hero on your screen right now, and wow, this build is absolutely insane. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because over 80% of the people watching right now are not sub. What are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. You are seeing gameplay of the two-way hero build right now. Here are some finishing clips. We're gonna be showing some defense, dribbling, passing, and shooting clips as well before we get into how to make the build, the bad is I'm using, the bad setup I have, all that good stuff, the animations, uh, the body types this build unlocks, the other versions of the build you can make if you want to switch a couple things up, and basically why I made this build. And this is the same build I'm going to be using for wagers and have used for wagers. This is the same build that I use in the stage, in the park. It works for every game mode. It works whether you want to play comp, whether you want to just have fun on the game. And I mean, clearly you can see by these clips. I mean, wow. This build makes the game 10 times more fun. Like, I was already having a good amount of fun on 2K24, but if you feel like 2K24 is feeling a little boring to you sometimes, and you wanted to make a new build, well, you came to the right spot because this build makes this game a million times more fun. Like, I have another build with a dunk rating. A lot of my builds don't have dunk rating, but having this high of a dunk rating and using the dunk meter, by the way, please master the dunk meter because it makes this build 10 times more better and this is why this build is called the two-way hero because look at what it's doing it's jumping out the gym like it's superman it gets bro i don't even like I, I just be playing with this build whether i'm playing casually whatever i get crazy highlights with this build it is like a human highlight build i mean it just gets crazy dunk animations you can shoot with this build you're gonna see the clips and if you want to see full gameplay of this build go check out my last video the link will be in the description of the video before i post this one i posted a bunch of stage gameplay events against competitive players competitive lineups and how this build works out you can also watch my future wager videos with this build because i do use it okay uh and yeah i mean you just saw we got to walk off i get the ball right back and just dunk it on him again like i really knew how overpowered this build was when i was playing this dunk fest again a build or event i mean look at these guys are like triple team i mean they're not even guarding my teammates and i'm just forcing dunks because that's what i needed to do to get on the leaderboards for dunk fest and i was just getting insane insane animations i mean every time with a fast break just get out the way and this build works very well in wreck you're gonna see the stats like and this is a point guard build, by the way. And you're probably like, oh, it's probably missing a lot of things in the stats. Bro, there's only one attribute that it really is that you could say it's really missing. Because everything else it does above average for a point guard. Like, you know what I'm saying? Except for this one rating. And it's not pass accuracy. I'll tell you that. The pass accuracy is insanely high at this build. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm just getting contact dunk after contact dunk. I am getting highlight after highlight. I'm getting bucket after bucket. I'm getting Shaq animations. Y'all know that one Shaq dunk where he throws the dude out the way? I mean, that's literally the animation it's got. I'm putting people on the floor, and you can put people on the floor on ankle breakers too. So you could do it through contact dunks like that. I mean, wow. I just jumped over that dude. I mean, you're going to be embarrassing your opponents with this build this build is so good that i don't know if y'all know the community template builds but i would not be surprised if 2k adds this build to the community templates at some point you know because and then put it inside the game because that's how good this build is like when i found this build in the builder i was genuinely shocked how many good attributes this build got and the potential it got i mean Y'all know if you watched my last video, I was trying to recreate my 99 dunk build from 2K23, and I think we did as good a job as we could possibly do with this builder being a lot more, you know, harder to get a lot of good stats on one build. But yeah, like I said, you can ISO with this build. You can take screens with this build. Whatever play style you want to go with, you could do on this build. This build can work for fives. It could work for ones, twos, threes. That's another thing I like about this build. I don't like, 
you know, I don't I don't want y'all to waste money on builds, right? Not only bad builds, but builds that just can't play all the game modes. Of course, if you only want to make one build, one point guard build, and you want to play like all the game modes, this is the build to go with, to be honest. It's the most fun. It's the most versatile. It could play with a lot of other teammates. You could play with insides. You could play with, you know, poppers. You could play any game mode. It, it works for a lot of things. I mean, once again, I'm not just looking up at the screen and just dunking on dudes, but enough of the finishing clips, okay? We've embarrassed enough people. Let's work, work on the defensive clips. Now, obviously, these are just clips that I clipped on my Xbox. So, you know, I'm not clipping a lot of defense. I'm not clipping a lot of passing, you know, and stuff like that. I'm clipping a lot of contact ducks and highlights. So, but yeah, this build can get into lanes. It has a good steal rating. If you know how to get into lanes, you know how to get steals. It gets plucks as well. It plays very good defense. It also has strength on this build. So if you want to play very close to your offense of uh, the guy you're guarding, uh, you could do that. You can get very bumpy with this build in wagers. I've had guards complain while they're wagering me that how is this dude bumping me so much? You know what I mean? Because I have strength and I can get... I could get very physical on defense. Uh, even if builds try to post you up, you have a good enough strength where a lot of the times their animations, their push off animations won't even work. Okay. And you're seeing me pick off passes like I'm Richard Sherman and throw him down. I mean, it's insane. Not only that, this gameplay, I'm playing with a top 10 player who's like very, very good at shooting. And a lot of the times they just double team me. Or you could make quick passes like that as well, where the defenders may be sleeping because this build has such a high pass accuracy. But yeah, look at this. Like, they're just sitting in the paint because you literally can't stop this build one-on-one. -on -one. Like, you have to bait double. Look at their double. Look at how crazy that double team was. Like, they're leaving my teammates just wide open, bro. Moving on to the shooting clips. Yeah, I mean, if you thought this build couldn't shoot, look at what I'm doing. I'm shooting hop back jumpers. I'm shooting from limitless, you know, it's crazy you can shoot contested you can fade from the mid-range the the three-point line the corners whatever shot you want to take with this build if you're a good enough shooter you could do it okay i mean look at this oh my god yo we don't have specific dribbling clips y'all just see me dribble throughout these clips but wow we are destroying people and this build is six eight so i'm as tall as a lot of centers that play threes uh twos and i'm moving like this i mean wow look at that shot we are walking away with it yo there's nothing this build can't do except for one attribute and it's not even noticeable when you play i'm gonna be honest look at ankle breakers turnaround jumpers i mean what can this build not do i'm telling you if you're not good with this build it's a skill issue and that's fine we can we all don't start good at the game and you're gonna progress and get better at the game the more you play it so trust me if you want to maximize your capabilities on this game of what you can do and the possibilities of doing X, Y, and Z on the court. This is the build to do. I mean, look what I'm shooting in people's faces. Yo, it's it's crazy. It's real. It gets real dangerous with this build when you get in your Birkin with it. That's all I'm gonna say. And I've been going crazy with it. And look at, I'm getting blocked. I'm not, it don't matter. I'm gonna relocate it and get the grade. It don't matter. All right, we're gonna go into how to make this build. Make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And let's get into it. All right, y'all. We are in the builder. Once again, make sure to drop a like on this video for me giving y'all the sauce, the soup, the, 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 the build, okay? Because we're going to be giving you multiple versions of this build, by the way. So don't like skip and then like, oh, look at the pause and look at one screenshot. Like we're going to be showing you multiple different versions, even an NBA template version of this build that you can make if you want to. And once again, I wouldn't be surprised if this build gets put into the community build. That's all I'm going to say, because it is that good, okay? It is really that good, okay? So anyways we're gonna go ahead create our build from scratch uh hannes you go with whatever y'all know that if you've been watching my videos for a, you know a short amount of time long amount of time you know that i like left-handed players number one for derrick rose y'all already know point guard six foot eight this is actually the maximum height you could go on a point guard uh this year in 2k24 so yeah you're gonna be much taller than most guard builds and a lot of y'all you know are gonna see some advantages that you get with this build being that tall compared to most point guards anyways with the weight now there's gonna be different versions of this build that i show you later in this video that have different weights on i'm also going to show you why 68 is better than 67 and 66 with this build and show direct differences so you know stay tuned for that but yeah we're, for this build specifically we're gonna max the wingspan okay now a lot of builds in 2k24 actually don't have max wingspan especially a lot of the point guard builds you're going to be guarding and going against are going to be these 6-6 meta builds which is probably the most popular build in the game and most of them have like one above maybe two above minimum wingspan or minimum wingspan okay you're gonna have max wingspan which is i don't know why i do that uh which is seven foot six and it's gonna be crazy okay 
Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to adjust your weight to about 219 pounds, which is the minimum weight you can have for 84 strength. Now, later in this video, I'm going to be showing some of the body types you get this build, but you get the biggest body types in the game with this build. So if you want to have the default body type, that's fine. But if you want to be burly or large, which is a new body type in Square 24, you could get it with this weight, um, and which is which is uncommon. Usually you have to be a big center, max weight, you know what I mean? And even some of those builds don't be getting it. Yeah, this build gets it for whatever reason. I mean, we do have the weight up a little bit, but yeah, it gets dangerous, okay? Anyways, we will change up a couple of those things for a couple of different versions of the build that we make later in the video. But anyways, let's move on to the build. You're going to start with the physicals, starting with the speed, because this is going to affect a lot of other stats. And I'm going to not upgrade some stats at first, upgrade them later, just to show you why I did them. Uh, and you'll see why later on. So make sure to not really skip around because I'm going to be explaining why I do certain things. If you have any questions in the comments and you might have an answer in the video already and not even know what if you're skipping around. Anyways, speed, we're going to an 82. That's going to be maxed out. Uh, you can only get as high as silver speed booster on six, eight builds in this game. And we're going to get that with an 82 speed acceleration. We're going to leave that 67 for now. It's going to go higher than that, but I'll show you why it goes higher after we upgrade a couple more things anyways strength 84 strength this gives you silver bulldozer silver immovable forcer which is going to help a lot on defense and silver brick wall it's going to give you some other uh, badges as well we just haven't upgraded some other things yet vertical you're going to go with an 82 vertical yes that is very good at 2k24 if you guys didn't know vertical is actually one of the most expensive stats in the game but we need certain dunk ratings and we need to unlock them uh unlock those dunk packages with an 82 vertical okay now stamina we are going to go with a 98 stamina which is actually the max on this build let's go ahead and move on to the finishing now there's already some stuff automatically upgraded from upgrading those physicals but obviously we're going to start with the most important stat on this build and that's the driving dunk now a lot of people don't know but when the game initially launched russell westbrook dunk package was one of the best dunk packages in the game was at a 96 driving dunk but after a couple weeks, they changed it to 93 driving dunk to unlock that dunk package. So you only need a 93 driving dunk to unlock that Russell Westbrook. Not only that, but at 94 driving dunk, if you were a starter three or higher, you can get the Michael Jordan dunk package, which gives you the capability to get free throw line dunks, okay? Not only that, but at 94 dunk, you also unlock Hall of Fame Slithery Finisher, which is one of the best badges in the game. Now, this 94 dunk is going to give you all the contact dunks in the game, except for one foot. I think it's elites or something. And trust me, if you want to go for that on this build, you can go for that. But you're going to find how expensive it is to do that. Because if you want to go for that dunk package, which is just one more dunk package, and you saw the clips, I don't have that dunk package and y'all see me go crazy. You're going to need to go to a 96 dunk for that and an 86 vertical and vertical is so expensive. The dunk gets expensive as you go higher too. So it really just ruins the all aroundness of this build. So I wouldn't do that. But anyways, you're going to get gold post riser, all of fame, bunny, a bunch of other good badges. Now the standing dunk, we're going to put that to a 45. This is going to unlock them. Um, the two standing dunk animations that you can get. And that's all you really need, especially with a 94 driving dunk to really get a lot of standing dunks in this game. Moving on to the shooting. Now, y'all saw me shooting crazy on this build, and that's because we have an 84 mid-range. Now, you could really spam midi fades. I didn't show a lot of clips of me doing that, but you could really spam them. You get gold mini magician with this 84 mid-range. It is very, very good, especially if you use pro two fade. Now, you could only go with a 76 three-pointer if you wanna save a couple attributes just to unlock that bronze age of threes. But I wanted the maximum three-pointer I could get just to, you know, to make sure I had the maximum capabilities of shooting on this build. If you wanna get a free throw on this build, obviously you guys know free throw is the easiest stat to upgrade. It costs like nothing. You can, you know, downgrade some other things and upgrade the free throw. But for me, I don't need a higher free throw. So we're gonna leave it at this for now. Moving on to the playmaking. The ball handle is going to go to an 85. That is gonna give you gold ankle breaker, a couple other good badges as well, and give you a lot of good dribble moves on a 6'8. You're gonna unlock every dribble move you could possibly unlock on a 6'8, so that's very good. Speed of the ball, we're gonna go with a 75 just so we get that Magic Johnson dribble style and so we can get a couple of these silver playmaking badges. And honestly, going past 75 really isn't gonna help. It only goes at 77. It's not going to do much anyways. Now, 
a lot of point guard builds you probably see on YouTube don't have a pass accuracy. And honestly, I'm a fan of a lot of builds with no pass accuracy, like a 63 or a 70 or a 75. I think those are good money spots, especially if you use screens for pass accuracy. But this is an ISO build. This is a build that can play in every game mode. And for a build that can play every game mode, a build that can ISO, a build that's going to attract defense or make the defense catch up slipping, you know what I mean? It's going to need a high pass accuracy. And this build gets a very high pass accuracy. It gets an 89 pass accuracy, giving it bronze bailout, gold dimer, and most importantly, Tyrese Halliburton passing style, the fastest passing style in the game. Anyways, going on to the, uh, the the defense. Okay, now, by the way, I mean, clearly we have the best shooting you could possibly have on a 6'8". We have elite playmaking and elite finishing. So moving on to the defense, right? You're probably thinking, okay, the defense can't be that good. Is this a no defensive build? It's not. You're going to go ahead and upgrade this steal to an 85. That's going to give you silver interceptor, silver right stick river, and silver glove. 85 perimeter defense which is going to give you silver clamps and a silver challenger now block is very expensive you see we're already at a 98 overall and upgrading the block isn't going to do much so this is the only defense we have on this build now in my opinion some of you guys are going to you know fret a little bit you freak out a little bit oh what about block what about rebound you don't need rebound on this build because you're already 6-8 with max wingspan and going up against other point guard builds, you're going to be fine on the rebounds. Trust me, I get a lot of offensive rebounds on this build, even with a 25 offensive rebound. Not only that, the interior defense, honestly, I've had builds with 90 interior defense, and it doesn't really affect anything unless you want to get more blocks. And we're not going to have a block on this build, so as long as you wall up in the paint, you're fine. And the perimeter defense and the steal is good. So yeah, we have good defensive stats uh, with the perimeter defense and the steal. And moving on back to the physicals, we're going to be upgrading the acceleration up a little bit all the way to 73 so we get that silver blow by silver spot finder and of course that silver fast feet and this build is at a 98 overall and the only thing we can upgrade now is free throw so we're going to put that up to a 60 and that is the 99 overall version of the build now this is the version of the build that i made now i'm going to be showing you guys multiple other versions of the build but i mean look at this build 94 dunk 84 midi, 78 3, 89 pass there's the 85 ball handle, 85 perimeter, 85 steel. If you 84 strength, like this build, 82 burn. I mean, this is crazy how many 80 plus stats this build has. And if you try to make this build on other heights, it's just not gonna work. And let me show you exactly why before we get to the other versions of the build. If you back out and even just go to 6-7, max the wingspan, go 219 again, right? Look at this, bro. We're already in 98. Let's like upgrade the ball handle a little. Look at 75. Look at. I mean, wow. 99 overall. Look at. My speed is lower. My acceleration is also lower. My strength is down to four. Speed down one. Acceleration down one. Vertical down one. Stamina down one. Perimeter defense and steel down one. Pass accuracy down two. Ball handle down one. Three pointer down two. Mid range down two. Dunk down two. Standing dunk down two. Like driving layup down two. Like a bunch of things are down. Just for going an inch shorter, like you get more stats on the 6'8. And watch, when I go to 6'6, 219, max wingspan, I mean, dude, you lose stats here. The strength is down to a 75. Uh, let's see, I go 82 speed. Let's get that 73 excel, max the strength, get the vertical, get the stamina. Uh, let's see. And look at, I'm already a 98. I mean, wow, you just don't get the stats that you get on that 6.8, it's just not as good. So once again, that's why I went with 6.8. This is the final stats of the build that I made once again. Now, before we move on, let me show other different versions of the build that you might want to make. Now, here is a second version of the build that honestly, I might make in the future. So if you ever see me with this build instead of the original, then maybe I made this version of the build. Honestly, I might make this version of the build because this is actually a very good version as well. But honestly, you can see the changes. Instead of going 219, I went 185 pounds, so we don't have strength. I also went from an 85 perimeter to an 82 perimeter, so we lost silver clamps and silver fast beats. We still have silver challenger. Went down on the rebound three points. And honestly, we didn't touch anything on the playmaking or anything on the finishing. And with the physicals, all we touched was we lower the strength, we lower the speed by one, and we up the stamina by one. But obviously, you can see some of the other changes. We got a 91 steal. And honestly, a lot of you guys are probably like, oh, you know, the silver, the gold glove isn't a big difference, bro. If you're in a comp scenario, you like to play a lot of comp uh, competitive games, 
91 steel is way better than 85 steel you get crazy amount of plucks so the 91 steel is a big deal not only that you get a plus one three-pointer which doesn't really do anything so 79 three but you get an 87 three-pointer because we went minus two on the wingspan giving you tracy mcgrady base and if you guys don't know tracy mcgrady base is one of the best bases in the game not only that you get gold open looks as well instead of silver and you get hall of fame comeback hit okay so there's a couple extra perks with this build so you're really trading off the strength one speed silver clamps for bronze clamps and you're getting a plus one higher three higher mid-range with a couple extra shooting badges with t-mac base and that 91 steel so it's something to think about but this is another version of the build i made so here's a third version of the build i made that if you want a block so if you want a block on the build you can go back to max wingspan you go no strength so you put the strength down you go minus one speed from the original build you put the rebound down a little bit you're gonna have to sacrifice the silver glove and the silver right stick ripper you will still get silver interceptor though you're also gonna have to sacrifice the, sil the silver perimeter badges and you'll get the 79 block of the silver chase the bronze anchor the bronze pogo 61 interior as well you also went down on the ball handle one so you're not gonna get chris paul hesitation also went minus two on the three-pointer which doesn't affect any badges but i mean you have a minus two three-pointer and a minus one speed so I mean, honestly, this the only big sacrifice is the perimeter defense and the steal. But if you want to block, it is expensive. Block is expensive on the 6-8 build. So that's the sacrifice you're going to have to make. And honestly, I don't have a block on my build. Do I regret it? No, I, I honestly do not regret it. I don't think I would ever make this build with a block. But if you do want to block, this is something you're going to have to do. And by the way, the first build comes out to diamond three level threat. The second build comes out to diamond three level threat. But this build with a block comes out to be an inside the arc maestro. So here's a fourth version of the build. Another version with block. We went down on the wingspan to 7-4. We went up on the perimeter defense back up to an 80, which gives you silver ankle braces. We got the 85 steel for interceptor. We got the 78 block silver chase bronze anchor. No pogo though. And we also got the acceleration and the speed back up to the original build but we sacrifice the pass accuracy. So if you want to sacrifice the pass accuracy, go to a 75 instead of an 89. Honestly, it's not going to give you a crazy amount of extra attributes. Pass accuracy is actually kind of cheap on this build, but you get some extra things. Also, we get the 87 mid range for T-Mac, went down to a 76 three-pointer. We got gold open looks the Hall of Fame comeback kid. So this isn't a bad version of the build as well. And this version of the build comes out to an inside the arc finisher. So anyways, we're back on my build screen. Now, if you want to make any other adjustments, these are going to be the things that you can sacrifice the most on this original build. So obviously the first thing you could uh, sacrifice is the strength. Now, if you're going to sacrifice the strength, I would lower the weight. Um, also, if you want that T-Mac base, go down two on the wingspan, go to that 87 mid range. But the first thing you can sacrifice that isn't going to affect anything but your rating, no bad is or anything, is just 76 three pointer. That's one thing you can do. Go down the free throw of one as well. You can go down one on the ball handle and you're not going to get any less badges except for gold ankle breaker. And the only dribble that I use that needs an 85 ball handle is Chris Paul hesitation but you can use zach levine that one works well as well another thing you can do is go minus one on the speed because you don't lose any bad as you still get silver speed booster you can also sacrifice your acceleration if you want to you can go down all the way to a 67 which still gives you silver speed booster another thing you can sacrifice is the perimeter defense if you don't really care about fast speed or clamps you go down to an 82 perimeter defense and still get silver challenger and if you don't even care about that you can go down to a 76 perimeter defense and just get the bronze challenger at bronze 94 feet and if you don't care about the pass accuracy as much you could go down to an 85 pass accuracy 80 pass accuracy for curry or 75 but i would at least go 75 if you're gonna iso with this build and then you can upgrade whatever you want from there if you want a higher free throw go for it if you want to get a block rating go for it if for whatever reason you think your height advantage and your wingspan advantage on most point guards isn't enough to get rebounds you can upgrade that if you want a higher standing dunk which i also don't think is worth it on this build you can go for that but you can really adjust this build around to whatever your liking may be this is the version that i went with if i were to go with another one it would be that second version that has uh, the 91 steel whatever and as you can see the comparisons are lonzo ball penny hardaway and Lamelo ball giving us that diving three level threat build what i like to call my two way hero build because this build is really a superhero to be honest but anyways let's move on to the body types the animations the badges my record and all that good stuff all right now it is time to show you guys a couple other things with this build now you might notice my player is looking a little bigger than it was in the gameplay and that's because i recently unlocked 
the burly body type i'll show a clip on the screen of me unlocking it but basically you have to do a bunch of gator workouts weekly until you gather up enough stars to keep unlocking future body types now certain builds can't unlock certain body types depending on their weight their stats all that stuff but this build unlocks burly which is i have on right now and it also unlocks large which i haven't even unlocked yet large is bigger than burly like so my build is really about to be a big build like and all you want to do if you want to adjust this or look at your body types is you're going to go ahead and go to appearance edit your head and you go to it's under chest and look at this is my body shape so this is what burly looks like this is slender which you automatically unlock uh when making the build and i have burly next is large i'll probably make a video when i unlock large about like a 300 pound iso build or something but yeah that's gonna be insane it definitely is gonna help me on defense definitely gonna help me with driving to the basket it's obviously a bigger hitbox on a player is just i feel like just better to have defensively but anyways here are my stats i'm a 96 overall haven't reached 99 yet i do have a driving dunk sleeve on and honestly when i uh level up to veteran two and three i'm gonna get plus three to finishing and playmaking and if i ever get the top 10 that's another plus five to all the other stats that this build's gonna be looking crazy if i ever do that now looking at the badges this is what i have right now uh, i'm just gonna show my badge perks what i have everything on but yeah this is what i have uh my badge perks on these are my floor setters as of now for whatever reason uh guard up and giant slayer just don't be moving too much on this build so i just put those on and i just never want to have my steel badges below silver so i put those on as well overdrive if you guys have that this is what i have those badges on and once again i do have a 93 win percent on this build i have a 93 win percent plus in every single season not only that let's show you guys the animations if you guys do want my jump shots uh the two jump shots i use depending on my ratings make sure to drop a like on the video i got two new jump shots for y'all these are the drew moves i have equipped you guys can copy those down now it comes with the dunk creator let's go ahead and look at this because this is actually very important so let's start off with the two foot moving dunks and you guys are going to need to listen to why i make these decisions okay now with the reverse dunks you're going to go with the windmill baseline reverses because those just give you good animations you do want to have really reverses on your player especially if you get that 45 standing dunk which this build has uh, it's going to help out a lot pro contact dunks off too i unlock these but i'm not putting them on you can see the animations in the preview these dunks are just very bad you don't take off from anywhere far away from the basket it's all very close it's just very slow animations that just take too long to you know go into and come out of so wouldn't recommend putting those on but we do have the elite contacts off too these animations are much better much more aggressive and you do jump just a little further out now with the one foots i don't have too many equipped i could put crit drops off one but it's not that good this year you want to do side clutches off one this one is unblockable no one's gonna block this dunk it's a very good animation you jump from very far away tomahawks only go with uber tomahawks off one now this might look like it gets blocked honestly this gets blocked once out of every blue moon like it's a very good dunk package very fast and then with the contact dunks uh pro we have um off one because you know you jump from way further out with the pro ones and then we don't unlock the elite ones because it's just too expensive for your build i wouldn't recommend going too far up with some of these attributes like driving dunk and vertical to 96 and 86 because it just takes away from so much of the rest of the build but anyways that's with the one foots um and then standing dunks obviously you want to put on both your regulars and then with the signature dunks now i can get michael jordan uh i do unlock it now i'm gonna need y'all tips in the comments because personally i always get that windmill that is showing right there i never get the one from the free throw line i don't know how to trigger the one from the free throw line that's the one i want but the windmill i get a lot and it's just slow it never gets blocked or anything but i just don't like the animation so i took it off in the meantime until i figure out how to do the one from the free throw line and then kobe bryant very good for reverse dunks you're gonna want to have that equipped russell westbrook the best dunk package in the game you take off from super far with this one same with lebron james that's a good one as well otherwise you don't really want to use anything else there's some other decent ones but you want to use you don't want to use too many dunk packages because then you know it kind of messes up what animations you get at certain spots on the floor depending on where you take off from so just go with that uh alley oops i have a couple of these on but i don't really be catching alleys like that or going for alleys but yeah those are my dunk packages and yeah man let me know you guys just thoughts on the two-way hero build gonna be using this build a lot super fun build to use make sure to drop a like if it helped you out at all subscribe to the channel for more videos with this build this video boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all make sure to go watch the jump shot videos peace